Hi, welcome to my series on my restoration of my 1979 Yamaha XS750. Um, I need to speak with you briefly about something not related to motorcycles. The original part one of this series was removed due to content. The only thing that I can figure out that was content related, somebody didn't like the t-shirt that I happened to be wearing that day. Um, I am an atheist and I support both freedom of and from religion in the United States of America. If there's any reason other than the t-shirt that you want to report this video, please message or contact me and I'll make reasonable edits to the video, but I've reviewed YouTube's policies and my video and I cannot see a violation. Um, if you don't like it, please don't watch, but it's basically impossible for me to completely reshoot the video in a different t-shirt because for content for context of the series you have to see the motorcycle in its complete form and as you can see behind me that's just not possible at this point so hopefully you enjoy the series and the video thanks Hi there, my name is Jacob Smith. I'm an artist, custom builder, metal fabricator in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, my skills come from about 20 years experience in the custom motorcycle world. I'm a motorcycle mechanic as well as a custom builder and fabricator. Um, I've done tons and tons of complete builds, but these days I focus more on fabrication projects, custom gates, sculpture, that kind of thing. Um, I know I've always been a very consistent YouTube content provider, but I get busy working on customers' projects and I just don't take the time to film everything that I'm doing or to edit and upload it. But um, I've just taken on a personal project that I'm excited about. Basically, in 1979, my grandfather bought brand new a uh, Yamaha XS750F Special. Uh, which is the Yamaha 750 Triple. Um, he used to even ride it from St. Louis where he lived to visit us here in Albuquerque sometimes. Uh, and then held onto that bike until the mid 90s when he passed it on to my older brother who was living in Colorado at the time. Uh, my brother rode it for a number of years and then when he decided to move to New York City, he parked it at my mom's. Um, I even rode it a little bit in high school, but not a lot. And then it's basically been parked since around 2001. Um, my brother visited recently and said that he's not going to be doing anything with the bike and was nice enough to pass it along to me. So I just picked it up from my mom's house and uh, I'm going to do my best to consistently document this project over the probably next year or so that it'll take me to get it back on the road. I'm going to do a tear down and repaint the whole thing fix any mechanical issues and hopefully get it back on the road. Um, kind of cool I got to show you here. You outside, we can do a walk through and see what the bike looks like right now. It's got the wind jammer on it, which was an upgrade back then. It's fairly complete as far as I can tell, um, but just dirty and neglected. Uh, it's got the brake master cylinder. The front brake master cylinder is completely locked up. That'll need to just be replaced. Um, I'll probably replace most of the brake system, all of the cables, the clutch lever's broken, uh, the seat's got a big tear in it that'll have to be replaced or recovered. Um, New battery, all new fluids, uh, the carbs will have to be gone through, and I'm going to tear all of the paintwork off of it, and do a re repaint. I haven't totally figured out the paint scheme, but it's going to be very flashy, 70s crazy, and um, Hopefully you guys will follow along and hopefully I'll be consistent about posting the progress on this. I'll be the I'll do the best I can to to videotape all of the process of bringing this old motorcycle back to life. Thanks for checking it out.